This might look like a horse, but it's called a knight. And this is a bishop. Two of the minor pieces in chess, both were three points, but both very different. I'm Mr. Jonathan, this is Virtually BGCMC. Now let's learn some chess basics about these two minor pieces. Okay, so we're gonna clear the board here and get a knight on the board. Starting off at the center on a light square, the knights move their short range and they move in an L shape. So you'll see two down and one over either to the right or to the left. You can line in those spots. And from here, these are all the spots that the knight can land in. You'll see you go two over and one or one the other way. And the same thing here. So keep in mind, the knights are used for short range and they're very unique. So from here, you're gonna notice that if you start on a light square and you move, you're gonna end up on a dark square and vice versa, going from dark to light, light to dark. One thing about the knight you wanna keep in mind is that they are most effective towards the center of the board. So if I move my knight here, then there are all these spaces that you can move to, total of eight, as opposed to if you are on the edge of the board or even in the corner, then you have a lot less options to move. Only two spaces are available. So one unique thing, or the very unique thing about the knight is that it could jump over pieces. Now it could jump over its own to get to the spot you want. Or say, for example, if you have two of the opponent's pieces in the way, you could jump over both of those and then land on the spot that you want. One thing, a common mistake that beginners make is that they think taking is like in checkers where you jump over a piece and you take those. But the way the knight takes is that it takes the piece on the spot that it lands on. So for example, here, it lands where the knight is, so it takes the knight, but the two pawns are left in place. Now we're gonna move on to the bishops. And for the bishops, there's always a light square and a dark square bishop the way the bishops move is on a long diagonal. You can move them as long as you want, as far as you want, as long as there's not another piece blocking it. And they take the same way as the knight as landing on the, if a piece is in the way and they land on it, then they could take that piece. So one thing you also want to keep in mind is that since they're, they are one on a light square and one on a dark square, they're never going to cross paths. But one of the reasons why the bishop is considered a minor piece is because even though they can move very far, there's always going to be, if you lose one, say for example, we take out the dark square bishop, this light square bishop is only ever going to be able to stay on the light squares. So if the opponent has a piece on a dark square that they want to keep safe, they all they have to do is stay on the dark and then the light square could never catch it. So that's one of the reasons why it's considered a minor piece. It's not as strong as say maybe a rook or a queen. So those are the two minor pieces in chess, the knight and the bishop. Hopefully you learned a little bit about it. Keep practicing. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a lot and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.